Hi everyone, I am here today with another weekly stamping collab video and this week's theme is Strawberry Days. So I'm actually really excited to bring you this new technique that I've been trying out. I completely love it, so um, it'll be used with my gel nail polish, of course, and I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So, Stampaholics, Jellaholics, um, just stay tuned for this video. It's completely awesome. So, um, next I'm going to be show you, uh, I'll be showing you the collage photo, and then everybody else's creations, my creation at the list, and then we'll get into the fun new technique. Um, in case any of you are active YouTubers, and you are interested in joining the um, the weekly stamping collab um, group? It's on Facebook. I'll leave that information linked below. Um, that is for active YouTubers only. And if you're interested in um, joining some of our collabs, so that's what that's about. And um, if you aren't, you know, yet active YouTuber or interested in that, I do have a gel addicts. Um, YouTube, um, Facebook, sorry, Facebook um, page as well, or closed group as well, and um, you're welcome to join that. And I'll link the, I will link the links below for the, I'll put the links below for both of those. I will also link everybody that's in this, this week's Strawberry Collab in the description box below and um, their videos on YouTube and their Instagram accounts. So you can go Call, eh, go and check out their photos. So um, if if you don't see it in the description box below, that's just because when everybody uploads a video, then we get the link. And so just keep checking back, okay? Because everything will eventually be in the description box below. <laughs> but right now, let's take a look at the wonderful photographs and then let's get into my exciting new technique. For this video, I'll be using Wave Gel's Green Witch Time, Snow Ice, which is white, Holiday Cheer, which is a red glitter, and I'll be using the No White Top and Base Coat in the description box below. I do have a uh, discount code if you're interested in this, and right now there's special pricing of $7.95. Um, per set. So um, the sets come with a gel polish and a regular lacquer. So that's kind of nice. Um, we'll need a tin foil, a little jar of alcohol, a black stamping polish. This is from Bundle Monster. Bundle Monster's monocle stamper and scraper. A fine brush. And I'll be using um, this Bundle Monster plate. And this uber chic plate. First I have two coats of the snow ice and the holiday cheer on my fingers and right now for less cleanup while I'm stamping I am going to add some liquid latex around my nails And um, this is just actually body latex that I got off of eBay. I think it's somewhere around maybe like $10 for a four ounce jar. And that should probably last me the rest of my life. And then I just put it in an empty um, nail polish bottle that I purchased from, um, where did I purchase it from? Um, Head to Toe Beauty. It's just there and I picked up a couple of empty polish bottles because I don't think about saving my polish bottles when they're empty. I just like throw them away. Ha. Okay, so um, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to just gonna apply this to the rest of my um, white fingernails where I'm doing the stamping and then wait for it to dry and then we'll be right back. Okay, first we're going to stamp the strawberries. So 
Just gonna put a little of the stamping polish on the plate. Give it a little scrape. Pick it up and place it on my nail. Perfect. So we'll do another one. Put a little bit more sandwich polish on there. Give it a little scrape. Pick it up. And this one I want to place right here. Oh, I also took the tacky layer off the white polish. Um, so, because it's gel. So I removed the tacky layer first. Okay, almost done placing the strawberries. I'm just going to put a couple on my thumbnail here. And I just want one more strawberry over here. I'm sorry about that. There, looks great. I'm going to place some of these leaves. Good pickup. And I'm just going to try to position them kind of in the corner here. There. Okay. Put some more leaves down. pick up and I'm going to position them over here. There, looks pretty good. And then I'll just do my thumb. Okay, and one more for my thumb. And I'll just position the leaves over here like that. There. Now the next step is when um, the stamping polish is completely dry, you want to add uh, the no wipe top coat. But I think right now I'm just going to try to um, Lift up the liquid latex. I saw that on a trick where you use your thing, and I'm thinking my fingers are working out a lot better. <laughs> okay, so there. So we'll just get rid of these um, big liquid latex stuff around the edges because I really don't want to end up getting um, my top coat all stuck to that. Oh, yeah, that would be really fun. Can just imagine curing that uh, and trying to get it off your finger after that. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So when the stamping polish is completely dry, then I'm going to glide on the no clean top coat. I'm just going to glide that over my image so I don't smear it. And then I'm going to cure it and then we'll come back. Now for the fun part. Now some of you may have seen um, the watercolor look where you, you know, buy Sharpies and you color in your artwork or whatever. Um, yeah, I almost did that. I almost bought like a whole ton of Sharpies when I figured out you can do the exact same thing with gel nail polish. 
Um, and I, I think it's probably less likely to smear and, and um, I actually I saw somebody who was coloring in a Sharpie with red and it actually turned orange when she top coated it. So, um, so this is the gel version of watercolor and it's super easy and super fun. So um, what I'm doing is I'm putting some of the gel color on this little piece of tin foil. I've got my um, alcohol in here. The higher the percentage of alcohol, the better because um, then it just kind of like evaporates off. So um, this one is 91%. Um, and I'll probably die with it, you know, because <laughs> I don't use it often. So, but um, maybe next time I'll get you no know, high percentage. So everything's already been top coated with the shiny no clean top coat. Okay, so this is super fun and simple to get the watercolor effect. I'm just going to dip my brush in the um, the alcohol. Oh, I should get a little piece of some paper towels right here. Okay, in case I need to dab anything off. So I'm just going to put it in there and then swirl it in the polish. Get a little bit on. These are pretty small images, so it's not going to take very much. And then just dab it in. If you want more of a dark, if you want more color, just wipe off some of the alcohol and dab some more of the color in. And if you think you need less color, just add some more alcohol. Okay, then I'm going to come in with the green and I'm going to do the little stem at the top. And I'm also going to do these leaves in green. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm not out of frame here. Okay. Let's see, okay, I think we can still see. Okay, just gonna dab some of the green in. There we go. We can still see through it. If you need it a little bit more sheer, you can just add a little bit more alcohol. This is very fun. I completely love doing this. If you accidentally go outside of the lines, just um, wipe your brush off and get it all alcohol and it'll just soak it right up. It'll just like whisk it away. Or come lean with a clean brush with alcohol on it. And it will just whisk it away. And that's all there is to it. It's completely fun. I really love this. I decided to come in with some cobalt glimmer and give it a little kind of like um, a blue sky background. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's take a, let's make this into a blue sky. I'm just going to keep this super light.
there we go. That is a masterpiece. Oh my gosh, that looks so fun. Okay, so I'm going to do this to my other nails, and, um, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I completely love this. I haven't done this technique very much. Actually, I've only done it twice. I've done it on a practice one, which I actually am going to be using in another um, mani, like, you know, months from now. <laughs> but I was so excited about how it turned out, I really wanted to do it again. So now, the next thing to do is cure it. So, because this is gel nail polish, the um, the alcohol pretty much evaporates off right away so now I can cure it and then we can top coat it so I'm gonna go cure it and then I'll be right back okay, now it's been cured and we can add the top coat and this technique doesn't really take a long time at all even though I did the rest of my fingers off camera um, because I just I don't want you guys to get bored and think okay I'm not gonna be sitting there watching this forever um, so I just wanted to give you kind of how to do it and then it took me maybe like 10 minutes to do the three nails. Um, I don't even know if it took that long. It's it's quite fast. And I just, I love how it looks. It looks like you did like this whole complete masterpiece on your nails, but it didn't really take that much time because you stamped it and then you colored it in. So it's really quite, quite awesome. Okay, so, and wow, it looks really great with the top coat on. All right, let me um, go cure this, and then we'll come back for the final look. Okay, so here's my finished look. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I really like how it turned out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really cute. I hope you guys think it's really cute. <laughs> well, if you um, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not one of my subscribers and you want to see more tips and tricks like this, subscribe to my channel because I always love to do new things with gel nail polish. So I think you'll really enjoy that. And um, and then there's the weekly stamping collab. Um, if, I, you know, if I join in on that, that'll be fun too. So um, don't forget to check out the other ladies' videos. And um, thank you for watching. Bye for now.